Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in Denver, Colorado at the DJI Airworks show. It's about 600 people talking about commercial drones. Nothing for fun, no film, no movies. This is all commercial. Agriculture, construction, public safety. And we're really excited to have someone on the agricultural side. It's Greg Emmerich. He's a co-founder, EVP of BizDev for Centara. Greg, great to see you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for being. Let me be part of this. Absolutely. So it's pretty interesting. I think a brilliant move by DJI to break the drone up into you know the platform, the payload, and the software, which we kept hearing about over and over in the keynote, and even the software they break into the mobile software to control the thing, and then the actual software on the on the drone itself to collect the data. And you guys have a really interesting product. You have a different payload option than what comes out of the box, what most people think of. So tell us a little bit about what Centaur is all about and how you use this capability to build your business. Sure, we're based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We have a team of engineers, uh, long history in remote sensing. And so what we've done is we've taken these sensors that we build, there are a multitude of different types of ones that we build, and we integrate them onto different DJI platforms. We've engaged uh, their software developers kit, and so we fly the aircraft with a mobile app. Right. When the airplane lands, we pull the data out, pull it into our software, do the analytics on it, and then push it into other analytics tools that are used for agricultural purposes. So what kind of sensors do you, do you use? What, what are the sensors that? Uh... Some of them are as simple as a red, green, blue camera. Okay. Just a simple image. All right. Uh, other times it's multi-spectral imagery. It could be near infrared or red edge that are be used for crop stress or maybe the opportunity to apply nitrogen in some instances. Um, we also do machine learning, and so we'll do things where we're counting plants, identifying the location of weeds in the field, and then pushing that into other tools or other implements that then could do, go do something and apply maybe something to the field or do something to help improve the crop production. So how was that done before there were these efficient, small and easy to operate drones? Uh, manually, and then there was a lot of interpolation where someone would go out instead of, we can scout and we can count every, every uh, plant in the crop. And in some instances, um, that, that, that can be done if you have a really small crop. Otherwise, they're just sampling and it, it's not very accurate and there's right. a lot of interpolation between you know, maybe six, six different locations in the field on 160 acres versus counting all of them. Right, pretty interesting, because we see that time and time again in the technology space, right? Now with big data, we have the capability to not sample anymore, but to actually take all the raw input and take action on the raw input. That's right. It's got to be way more productive than a sample. Right, so and what we're doing is actually facilitating a lot of tools that are out there today. They already know how much fertilizer they've applied, they know what the soils are like, they know how much precipitation they've had, but they don't know the status of the crop. And so what they need is sort of this real-time opportunity to look at it, understand what might be a problem, or maybe there's no problem at all, right. uh, but in the end, they identify what, what they might want to do, and then from there, create an application or a prescription to go out and do something. Okay, and then from your, from your business model, do they, do they buy a drone outfitted with your sensors? Do they buy the sensors? Do you provide this as a service? How does kind of the business model work? Yeah, so for us, um, it's all about the sensor and the software. And so a customer will come to us and they'll typically buy a solution. We've taken the time and invested the energy to make sure that they function and operate on all of the DJI equipment. And, uh, and then from there, um, they'll purchase a solution and that solution will then be used for uh, you know, their own business applications. It might be at the enterprise level, or it might just be a big grower. And from there, they'll take the data and then push it into their analytics tools. And push tools. it into whatever analytics tools they have. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. So as you, as you turn um, the calendar to 2018, hard to believe we're through 2017, I'm still kind of can't believe that. Yeah. What are some of your priorities for 2018? Where, where are you guys going next? How do you see this evolving as both the market matures for acceptance as well as the technology and some of the cool things they announced here at DJI today? Sure, well, you know, of course, they've uh, DJI does great, great things and we continue to work with them. Uh, you'll see new sensors come from Centera. You'll see um, tighter integration uh, into uh, the platforms themselves and, and uh, You'll also see a lot more data that comes from them and, and uh, what they'll, how they'll be able to be used in other uh, analytics tools. Excellent, all right, Greg, well, uh, congrats uh, to you and your business, it's fun. You know, we hear about the ag application all the time. I, I stumbled upon on YouTube a dedicated channel just for drones for rice farming, which I thought was fascinating. <laughs> like, wow, I didn't know that was a thing. Sure. But uh, clearly, huge impact in agriculture, huge, huge benefit to, uh, to food production, farmers, and, and ultimately more food for all of us. That's the motivator for us. I mean, that's what gets us up every day. So 
Um, it's great to have someone understand what we're trying to do, so thank you. Oh, pleasure. All right, he's Greg, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE from DJI Airworks 2017. Thanks for watching.